Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Taub. I'm the Director of Advanced Dermatology in Lincolnshire and Glencoe, as well as the Medical Director of Skinfo.com. We're going to talk today a little bit about botulinum toxin and how it's used. With any medical procedure, there's always going to be some risk and some complication. Probably the most common complication of botulinum toxin is what we call the spock look or the surprise look. This occurs because after we relax these muscles, the frontalis muscle is now unopposed. It's pulling up and these muscles are pulling down. Nothing's pulling down anymore. So now it just goes to town and it just lifts up way too much. I actually inject a little bit here which makes it so that this eyebrow doesn't go straight up. It kind of curves around. And I also put a little bit of toxin up here so that it doesn't go up too high. The second thing that can happen is a dropped lid or a droopy lid. This is never desired. If the toxin diffuses to this muscle, it can relax this muscle too much and actually make it so that a person cannot open their eye fully. Another thing that can happen is sometimes there's so many lines on the forehead that in order to get rid of all of them, we need to use enough toxin that the forehead can no longer function and pull up and then everything falls down a little bit. If that happens, there is a fix for it. We can actually perform a little bit of what we call tissue tightening up here to lift up the brow temporarily and usually by the time that wears off, the toxin has worn off. At Advanced Dermatology, we're proud of our heritage with botulinum toxin. We really know how to individualize toxin and we do it all the time and we know that that's what our clients, our patients and people want.